On the campaign trail in 2020, then-senatorial candidate Tommy Tuberville made China one of themes in his lines of attack in the Republican special election runoff against former Senator Jeff Sessions. At the same time as his tough talk on China, Tuberville's stock portfolio included Chinese mega-retailer Alibaba, whose founder, Jack Ma, is a member of the Chinese Communist Party, according to Senate financial disclosure reports Tuberville filed last week. Ma's company, the Chinese equivalent to Amazon, also reportedly developed a propaganda app on behalf of the Chinese government. The filing, covering the 2020 calendar year, showed Tuberville had between $15,001 and $50,000 worth of Alibaba stock put options. In Tuberville's candidate report filed with the Senate Ethics Committee in June 2020, a month before the Republican runoff against Sessions, showed he held between $1,001 and $15,000 worth of Alibaba stock that he earned less than $201 in capital gains on. The records also showed that Tuberville no longer held the stock as of the June 5, 2020 filing. During the runoff, Tuberville hit Sessions on a 2000 Senate vote to normalize trade relations with China. Sessions voted to send our manufacturing to China. So, he should know quite a bit about it, Tuberville said at the time, according to Fox 10, so, he needs to be asked about that. Why in the world did you vote to send out manufacturing form the United States of America to China and other places? And we ruined our small towns. Tuberville's office said he has a financial advisor who handles his investment decisions, but told the advisor to sell the Alibaba stock after learning about the holding. In early 2020, upon becoming aware of the Alibaba investment, which was less than $5,000, he instructed his advisors to divest in the stock, Ryan Durant, a spokeswoman for the senator, told Business Insider, which first reported on Tuberville's investment. The candidate report reflects that divestment in that stock, which took place on June 1, 2020.